Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a plane in a plane kit in Roblox. So I'm going to assume that you already have a plane built or you're going to get one from the toolbox. So I'm just, I've just searched F15 and I'm just going to get one and uh, here we go. So we have an F15 here and what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it into a plane kit and get it all set up for our liking. And so the plane kit that we're going to be using is called Plane Kit Old, and it's by Crazyman32, and it, uh, it's the plane kit that PTFS uses. It won't look exactly the same because the GUI has been changed and stuff, but it's basically the same. So I've just searched for an F15, and it looks like the F15 that's here is uh, already comes with the plane kit. So if the plane that you're going to be using, you've built or you've imported it, and it doesn't have a plane kit, uh, just... Um, you won't need to do these next steps, but uh, what we're going to do is just get it to a nice simple form. Now what we're going to do is separate it into the parts that we need. So seats, that's the pilot seat, so we'll need that. The gear, yep, yeah, we'll need that. And this thing called generator, we don't need that. And these things, it doesn't look like we need them, so we can delete them. And these parts, uh, contrails, we don't need them. I'm going to show you how to make contrails in a later video, I think. And it uh, doesn't look like we need that. That looks like some scripted thing. And OK, so now we've got it down to a few basic things. If you're playing kits, if you get a free model and it comes with something called engine or a part called main, something like that. This is basically the pivot points, so where it will s sort of rotate around when you take off and land and move your plane, it will rotate around there. So if you've imported it and it, you know, and it's not from a plane kit, what you'll have to do is basically just place a transparent part um, in the middle of the plane like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually transfer it into our plane kit here. So what we'll do is we'll open up our plane kit and if you want the regeneration button, uh, then feel free to keep it. But if you don't, what you'll have to do is delete this script here, this part here, and also change this clone value to true. Now what we're going to do is move this plane into the plane kit. So firstly, uh, this, these things, it might be called other parts, body kit, something like that. You can just drag that straight in and delete the one that came with this plane kit. I'm going to rename it to other parts because I think that's a nicer name. And then let's open up the main or whatever it is and the main parts. It will, so as you can see, these are all basically the same things. What we're actually going to do is we're going to drag this seat in. We're going to delete the contents of the seat. We're going to move the contents of the seat that came with this plane into that seat. Oh, don't want to open up the script. Move that into there. Delete the one that came with this plane. And what we're then going to do is rename this seat to main seat. OK, that's the seat done. The gear, just drag that in. Rename it to landing gear and then delete the landing gear that came with that plane. And then main or engine, whatever it might be called, drag it in, delete the contents of it, put the contents of this one into there, delete the one that came with there and rename it to main. Okay. So now you'll have noticed, once we've done that, the plane kit old, the one that I have linked in the description, uh, that is all gone. And we've successfully basically just taken the F-15 and we've put it into that plane kit. So now if we get into the plane, we get into the seat. As you can see, uh, these letters, uh, these text don't show up at the moment we'll fix that we are in the plane and it will fly and okay apparently we just crashed i'm actually going to disable in the edit these 
value here. There's a thing called can crash, and we're going to set the value to false. Uncheck that box. There we go. So we've taken off, and as you can see, it's very unmaneuverable. So we will definitely be making it more maneuverable. <laughs> So yeah, and the gear will work obviously because we have the uh, gear model. So obviously if you, your model didn't come with a plane kit, you'll just put your gear into there and your seats, you'll just put the contents that came with our plane kit that we inserted uh, into that seat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it more manoeuvrable. So the way you do that is you go into this main part here and then you go into gyro and then you set your D value. So the D value is how manoeuvrable it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set mine to 1200 and the smaller the more manoeuvrable it is. So what I'm now going to do is also set my acceleration to 1.3 uh, so that will mean it will accelerate a bit quicker. Uh, so I've set it so it can't crash. I'm going to make it so I can use W and S to control the throttle. Max bank, uh, the max rotation when you're banking the max amount. So that would be 90, that's fine. Max speed, I'm going to go something like maybe 300. Plane name, I'll set that to F15. Speed differential, so that basically if you face, um, if you're pitching max up, um, it will subtract 50 from your top speed sort of thing. So I might set this to 100. So if I'm going directly up, I'll go at 200. If I'm going directly down, I'll be going um, 400. If my max speed is 300. Stool speed, I'll set that to 80. Uh, throttle increase, you don't have to worry about that, but I believe it's uh, how quickly your throttle will increase. Okay. Uh, so now... If we have a quick test. As you can see, it's a bit easier to control. It's more maneuverable. And we can take off at a, a uh, slower speed. And obviously the gears still works and everything like that. And uh, now we can come into land. So that's the most basic installation of this uh, plane into the plane kit. In the next video, we're going to be looking at fixing the bugs in the plane kit. Uh, so thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.